Dairy NZ has been conducting a series of trials, supervised by Kate Wynn, to understand cow behaviour and identify welfare issues on uncovered standoff pads. The Northland Dairy Development Trust has also been involved, with work being carried out at Fonterra's Jordan Valley Farm. It's hoped that as a result of the research, recommendations will be able to be made about standoff pad design and use. One of the issues that we have in Northland, uh, which is not uncommon to the rest of the country, I think, is that we have very wet winters and heavy rainfall events that come, you know, we can get up to 200 and 250 mils of rain in a 24-hour period. So when that occurs, we get uh, very wet paddocks and we need to pull our cows off for a period of time. So a lot of farmers have been doing that for years anyway, but not necessarily onto a purpose-built facility. So, so the reason that we're looking at this now is that there's more and more of these standoff facilities being built to different designs and we wanted to look at what the welfare and, and animal behaviour implications were. There's a range from just a rock base which is uncovered through to this type of setup where we've got a gravel base with drainage that takes the effluent, the walls and using post peel or bark, uncovered as well. The next step is to cover them, remove that rainwater effect and also put concrete down and then the, the sort of Rolls Royce is the herd home. What we wanted to look at is how are the cows actually behaved when they're out here or being stood off for a period of time and what the, the activity um, that they tend to, to do on these surfaces was. We used an existing pad to start off with, which we have here. It's got some Novaflow drainage which drains through to a central sump. And we got some post peel from a local timber mill. We put on one metre of material and 75 to 100 centimetres is the recommended depth. The cows were put on here every day for six weeks. They were on here for about 10 to 12 hours, went to the feed pad to get some supplements and then were put onto the pasture for six to eight hours a day. While they were on the pad we had two periods using pedometers, which are a electronic device attached to the back leg which measures their activity, lying time, standing time, and movement, basically. We did the same thing on the concrete as well. In terms of what we did with the actual material, we looked at different treatments around managing it, because one of the concerns is that it tends to compact and settle, and then the drainage is reduced. So we thought maybe ripping in different time periods would help. So in some of it we ripped once a week, some of it we ripped twice a week, and some we didn't touch for the whole six weeks. While ripping doesn't take much time and it's not much of a cost, it actually provided no benefit to the material. Drainage was the same, compaction was the same, and cow movement was pretty similar. This is a picture of how the, the pads looked after six weeks. And here is the, a cross section showing the compaction. And what we're seeing here is a depth of about 25 centimetres of muck on top, and then the compaction of the post peel down to about 90 centimetres. It didn't look pretty, and the cows Although they still lay in it, um, they weren't impacted terribly. Some farmers use sawdust, some use bark chip. This is something that's available to us, which is the reason we're using it, but there are a number of different options out there, and it, it comes down to price and what you can source locally. There are companies now promoting the rubber matting, and so we're looking at, we're doing some work up here as well as down in the Waikato around animal activity on rubber mats to see if that provides more comfort. Um, and, and I'm sure as we get you know, further along and more and more farmers are using these facilities, there will be other options coming available. The concern is really around lameness, for one. Is lameness increased if they're stood off for extended periods of time? Is there a welfare issue around mastitis or bacterial content, if you like, of standing off in sometimes mucky conditions? We found that their activity was not all that much different on the post peel compared to being at pasture, although they did lie down a little bit less and there was a slight increase in lameness. But on the concrete there was more lameness and they tended to compensate for having to stand on the concrete more by lying down more in the paddock, so they reduced their grazing time in the paddock, and therefore less intake. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.